Well, let's do it. Hello and welcome or welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paloma and my artist name is Paloma the Peach. And uh, this is another studio vlog. So as you guys may or may not know, I am actually still in school. Um, I am currently getting my bachelor's degree in art history with a minor in studio art. I already have my associates in studio art, so I decided to kind of like focus on art history a little bit more and also to give myself a little bit more time for like my personal craft because this is my job. So I am currently in another semester, hopefully second to last or third to last semester and I've been pretty busy. I have school two days out of the week basically all day. So yeah, this week was very, very productive as you guys will see and I will talk to you guys at the end of the video. Because my allergies have just been like in full gear, which they normally do around this time. So uh, I was about to go to class, but turns out um, my husband took my car keys with him to work. So I can't go. I'm gonna take this quiz that I just found on TikTok because I wanna know what kind of cake I am. This feels like a job interview. What kind of spell would you use to resolve the crisis? I didn't know this was so job focused. I didn't know the point of it was like to figure out what kind of job you should get. Okay, so yesterday you guys saw me working on a project for school and it's for my design class it's the only studio class I took this semester and we basically were assigned two letters and we had to make compositions with them um, with certain rules and stuff so I did my 20 of pencil and now for today I have to fill in my 10 marker ones um, I'm gonna use a Posca marker just because these are so much larger and there's some that I want to do like a black background on so it's gonna take me a while but I gotta move fast on this because the finals are due tomorrow. <laughs> So I got this little guy off of Etsy and it's basically just a to-go, on-the-go watercolor palette. Um, I saw that Little Tiny Egg had one and I've been just like tr trying to get more into watercolor for years now and I felt like maybe this could be the push for me, make it less intimidating. Um, I love tiny things as well so I am going to set up this little watercolor palette. I don't think I'll have enough different paints to fill this up, but 
let's fill it up with paints. I got the Holbein Artist watercolor just because Holbein is a really good brand overall. I use their gouache paints and their colored pencils, so yeah. So um, sometimes I need a little bit of a break from my studio and I like to come draw on the couch. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. A few years ago, I discovered this app called Nomad Sculpt and it's basically where you can make 3D art, 3D models, but on your iPad. Over the last few months, I developed a really strong interest in learning Blender because I just wanted to make 3D stuff. I don't know why. I've been really into it lately, but I just have. But Blender is like super intimidating for me. I don't like programs that have a really overwhelming interface, like with everything showing at once. Um, I need things to look fairly clean and then I, I kind of figure things out on my own in that way. But Blender just... Taylor? But Blender, just for me, how my brain works, it was too much for my eyes. I feel like if I took a class on it, it would be better. But as far as learning it on my own, I tried and it just wasn't sticking. So I decided to revisit Nomad Sculpt because it's an app that you can use on your iPad. And having the ability to like mess around with the model on my iPad feels a lot more intuitive. It's a lot easier. It's a lot faster. Um, it works better with my workflow because I have everything on my iPad. So yeah, been really into that. I was practicing a ton last night. So for this upcoming Patreon sticker, I think I'm going to do a 3D sticker because I think they're so cute. So let's do it. So I thought that while you guys watch me mess around, with this little 3D model that we could chit chat a little bit. I know you guys tend to like more like chatty videos and I do not mind because I can yap. So I have been, as I said, very into this Nomad Sculpt app. Lately, I have just been feeling really inspired by people who use Blender and people who create 3D art essentially. Uh, I really like like the clay looking very matte sort of 3D models, so that's kind of what I've been trying to channel with the stuff that I've been making lately. And this is kind of the first time that I have been like this excited about art in a very long time because I still love drawing, I love painting, I love ceramics and all that stuff. Because I've been doing it for so long, um, it kind of, it kind of starts to get like a little bit less exciting, especially when you start improving on your skill that you're trying to learn. Things can kind of start to not feel as exciting because honestly, the most exciting part is like the journey and learning a new technique, learning how to improve, learning how to reach your artistic goals. Like that's honestly the best part of being an artist and then like you master it and it's really cool but after a few months or years of having mastered it your brain kind of wants to learn more stuff and that's kind of what was happening to me but I didn't really realize it until I started feeling that urge to make 3d art and I've been having a lot of fun with it it's very freeing it feels like a nice little break from my normal typical stuff so, yeah. This neck stretcher thing, I don't know if it actually has any science behind it. I was working on that piece for like an hour and a half, two hours without looking up, so 
I really need my neck stretched, and this does the trick. Hello, everybody. So I have been so productive this week. Like I have been zooming through all of my tasks, especially because like I was really behind because last week I barely worked because I went to an event. So this week I have been getting stuff done, which is really nice. It's been feeling really good. Uh, so now I have a little bit of extra time for today. I just have two tasks left, which is just packing orders and I need to post a sketchbook tour by the end of the day for my patrons. But I just want to have till the end of the day to like really fill up some pages and give them a nice juicy tour. So for my extra time, I feel like taking on something for myself, which I haven't done in a long time. And I'm scared, of course, because... I'm gonna be doing like a marker illustration on here. Um, it's This pad is only 12 by 12, but like I just haven't made something big in so long that I am nervous. So yeah, I'm nervous, but as an artist and honestly as like a human, you have to keep challenging yourself. So I'm pushing through and hopefully I can get it to look how I want to. Um, I'm gonna try it out with markers just because markers are my favorite. But again, if it doesn't work out, I can just paint over it with paint. So let's talk a little bit of what I'm thinking. So I have, where is it? I have this page from earlier in the month, which is just like a little guy wearing a Lucha Libre mask. And this is actually from a reference picture because I am in an artist group chat where we share reference photos that we are basically like allowing each other to use without copyright. So like if we make something that we like, we can sell it, which is amazing. So somebody put a reference photo of someone wearing a Lucha Libre mask, which is pretty cool. So I sketched it out and I had a lot of fun sketching it. And now I want to make it bigger, but I'm thinking that I am gonna take a photo of this, trace it onto my iPad, fix up whatever I wanna fix up, print it out and then transfer it on here just cause I don't wanna put that much pressure on myself to like actually draw it on here. And I really like how this sketch turned out, like it's really loose and floppy and stuff, so... Just tell me I belong That I'm the lucky one I'm your chosen 
And that is kind of my week in a nutshell. I felt like I got a lot done. I felt really energized this week and I'm not really sure why. I think it's because I kind of took a break from work. Last week I went to a notability event and I had to travel for that. So I was out Thursday, Friday and I have school Monday, Wednesday. So I really only had one work day. So I think I kind of got like a nice little break from work and it reset me. So I feel very energized. I feel very creative. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me feel that way and kind of seeing how I use my extra time too. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So before we close out today's video, I wanted to talk about the sponsor, which is of course Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website if you don't know what Squarespace is. It is the platform that I have always used to run my website and my online art business. And they have some tools that help me out with doing that. So commerce tool, very simple, keeps track of all your orders, your inventory, your customer data all that fun stuff. The website templates are also very helpful because they can help you get your website up and running without you having to fiddle with it too much, but they are also super customizable, which is something that's very important to me. I like to mess around with the colors and stuff like that a lot. If you're interested in Squarespace, you go to squarespace.com for a free trial and you can use my code for 10% off your first purchase.